the national average for checking account APY is 0.06%. This means that if you're putting away $1,000 into a traditional checking account, you're only getting interest of 60 cents every year. In this video, I'll be going over the five checking accounts that will give you an interest rate of at least 3% APY. Be sure to stay till the end where I share with you whether or not you should open one of these checking accounts. Especially with traditional companies, we have seen very low interest rates. This can include, for example, Bank of America offering a 0.01% APY, Chase Checkings also offering a 0.01% APY, as well as Capital One offering a 0.10% APY. This is very low, especially ranked against the national averages. Now with the national average of 0.06%, if you put your money into a checking account that offers a national average of 0.06% in interest rate, this is how much you should expect to receive depending on your principal. And as you can see, it's not that much. But there are ways for you to increase this by opening a checking account with a bank that offers a higher interest rate. Before we continue, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell. I do post about personal finance and investing every week. All of the checking accounts I'll be sharing with you will not have any monthly maintenance fees. But there are a few restrictions and some qualifications you need to meet to be able to receive that high interest rate. Some of the restrictions may include a cap on the amount of money you can apply the interest rate on. Just to give you a heads up, most of these checking accounts are going to be through a credit union and this is why they're able to offer a higher interest rate. The first one is the Lake Michigan Credit Union checking account offers anything like a traditional bank. For example, access to 55,000 plus ATMs worldwide. You can also deposit checks on the go. And lastly, you can also use online bill payments. Now, there are a few requirements to have access to this account. You do not need to be a resident of Lake Michigan. To open an account with Lake Michigan Credit Union, you will need to donate $5 to the ALS Foundation. And to qualify for this high interest rate, you will also need to meet these minimum requirements every month. Now, if you don't meet any of these minimum qualifications every month, the only penalty is that you won't be able to receive the high interest rate which is probably one of the reasons why you even signed up for this account. These minimum requirements include setting up a direct deposit to this checking account. You will also need to make at least 10 minimum transactions on this debit card every month. They also want you to log into your account at least four times a month. And lastly, they also require you to sign up for e-statements. By doing this, it cuts down the cost of sending your statements through the mail and it's also more environmentally friendly. You will also get reimbursed $10 every month for any ATM fees. The second checking account is the Consumer Credit Union Rewards Checking Account. It has an APY of 4.09%, which is 80% higher than the national average. Now this high interest rate is capped at $10,000. To receive this high interest rate, there are a few requirements. They do have an interest rate reward tier system. The minimum qualification is to receive 2.09% and any of the other tiers is to have 12 debit card transactions every month made with this debit card, enroll in e-statements, and do a direct deposit of at least $500 into this checking account. Once you meet those minimum qualifications, you will receive 2.09% APY. And then for the next tier, if you spend $500 every month with this debit card, you will then receive 3.09% APY on your checking account. And lastly, to get the highest tier, which is 4.09%, you will need to spend $1,000 with this debit card every month. Now, if you do save more than $10,000 into this checking account, you can also receive interest rate. For all tiers, if you have a balance between $10,000 and $25,000, you will earn 0.2% on that balance. And anything above $25,000, you'll earn an interest rate of 0.1%. This means that you could earn at least $409 if you put in $10,000 into this checking account. Because this checking account is not capped, there is just a smaller interest rate for higher balances. Anyone can join the Consumer Credit Union 
by joining the Consumer Cooperative Association, which will require a one-time $5 membership fee. And another great thing about this checking account is that you'll receive unlimited ATM fee reimbursements. No matter how many withdrawals you make at an ATM, if you do get charged a fee, Consumer Credit Union will reimburse you every ATM fee. Before we continue, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below what is your current interest rate on your checking account. Moving on to the third checking account, it's the Western Vista Federal Credit Union Panorama Checking Account. The high interest rate is a lot more straightforward than the Consumer Credit Union. You can earn 3.25% on the first $15,000. And then after that, any balances over $15,000 will earn 0.02% interest rate. Now, like the previous checking accounts that we talked about, this is a credit union, so you will need to donate $5 to the Western Vista Community Foundation to be eligible for an account. You'll need to maintain a balance of $25. Now, for this checking account, there are a few more hurdles you have to go through to be able to get this high interest rate. Don't have an online form. You will need to physically fill out these paperwork and mailed it in. So it's not the easiest to get started with. And there are also a few requirements to get that high interest rate every month. The first being that you will need to make 10 transactions every month with the debit card. You will need to have a direct deposit set up with this checking account. And you'll also need to sign up for e-statements. Now let's take a look at the fees. They also reimburse up to $25 in ATM fees every month. The next checking account on our list is the Devon Bank Cash Checking Account. They do have branches in California and Illinois, but customers nationwide can open an account with them. This checking account has the highest interest for a non-credit union checking account. And the reason for this is they're a service provider that partners up with local banks and credit unions to offer competitive accounts in many regions. This checking account has an interest rate of 3.5% and it is capped at $10,000, but anything above the $10,000 will receive an interest rate of 0.77%, which is a lot higher than the national average. With this interest rate, you can make at least $350 by putting in $10,000 into the account. And you can earn more in interest by putting more into the checking account. They do also offer a savings account that allows you to easily move money between your savings and checking account. The savings account with the Vaughn Bank offers a 1.25% APY, up to $50,000. If you're interested in other high interest savings account, check out this video I linked here. Because they're not a credit union, there are no requirements for you to open an account with them. You don't need to donate any money. There are still a few minimum qualifications you need to meet every month to maintain that high interest rate. The first requirement is that you'll need to make 12 debit card transactions every month. You will also need to set up a direct deposit. You will need to enroll in e-statements. They will reimburse you ATM fees up to $25 every month. This last one is the Evansville Teachers Federal Credit Union Vertical Checking Account. This one has a high interest rate with a higher cap. As a result of this, you can earn a lot more money. This checking account has an interest of 3.3%, but it is capped at $20,000. Now with this interest rate, if you saved $20,000 into this checking account, you can make up to $660 every year. Don't worry, this checking account is not just limited to people who live in Evansville or teachers, but they do have a few requirements that you have to meet. To open an account with them, you will need to donate $5. Like all of these high interest checking accounts, there are a few minimum qualifications you need to meet every month to get this high interest rate. First one is that you will need to make at least 15 transactions every month with this debit card you will have to set up at least one direct deposit into this checking account. They also require you to log into your online account at least once a month. But this is perfectly normal because it is a good idea for you to check on your accounts at least once a month. And on top of these requirements, you will also need to opt in for e-statements. Like all of these checking accounts, there are no monthly maintenance fees and they do reimburse you up to $15 of ATM fees every month. 
now for you to open a checking account with them, it really depends on your situation. If you use a traditional bank and you do feel more comfortable, and if you're okay with the low interest rate, maybe it's fine to stick with those accounts. But if you want to get more money out of the money that you're parking in your checking accounts, opening an account with one of these banks makes a lot of sense. Especially since they are your credit unions and they are a lot more safer than, for example, any fintech companies. If you do decide to open a checking account with any of these banks, I will only save up until the capped amount so that you can get the highest interest rate. And for any of these banks, because they do require a direct deposit, what I would do is request a portion of your paycheck to be direct deposited into one of these checking accounts. That way, as long as you meet the minimum requirements of setting up one direct deposit, you should be good to go. Now, what's annoying about these checking accounts is that you do need to make these minimum debit card transactions. What I would do is set it up to auto pay anything that is recurring. For example, paying for Netflix or your phone bill. Now, this is only if you don't have a cashback credit card that is giving you a good amount of cashback for your expenses. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more personal finance and investing videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and supports me in making these videos for you. Check out this video here on the highest interest savings accounts.